fate of Johar Zernayev rests in 12 jurors' hands, the same hands that found him guilty on 30 federal counts of the Boston Marathon bombing. Now the question to the jury is whether or not he should spend the rest of his days in jail or be sentenced to death. In the penalty phase of the trial, the defense argued Johar was influenced by big brother Tamerlan, bringing in family and classmates to testify to Zarnayev's character, and even putting on the stand the well-known anti-death penalty activist Sister Helen Prejean to speak on what she perceived as remorse from Zarnayev. But jurors will have to decide if Zarnayev is the misguided young brother or if the prosecution, who brought in victims and recounted the bloody scene of mangled bodies during the aftermath of the bomb, made their point that the 21-year-old who flipped off a security camera before his arraignment is unremorseful. As closing arguments took place, anti-death penalty believers stood outside the Moakley Federal Courthouse. It's willfully taking a life. Um, it is state-sponsored taking of a life. I don't believe in that. Thursday will be the first full day of deliberations. A unanimous verdict is required for the death penalty. For the Boston Herald, I'm Erica Mora.